Constitution, access to topics of the United States. He said there will be a choice in some of the war and peace between fascism and democracy. It is up to the Venezuelan people, which was basically very regrets in his face. The Canadian Prime Minister has praised firefighters for working hard to save lives and homes from a massive wildfire in the western province of Alberta. Writing on social media, Justin Trudeau said over 400 firefighters in Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, and South Africa had joined their efforts to control the blaze. 10,000 people have been evacuated from the mountain resort of Jasper. World news from the BBC. California's governor has ended agencies to begin to look at the homeless camps on state land. The recent executive order tells officers to focus on dangerous encampments while offering support to people living in them. The military ruler of Niger, General Abdelman Chiani, has given a defiant television address on the first anniversary of the coup that brought him to power. He said no state or foreign organization could tell Niger how to behave. He asked his civilian president, Mohamed Balzoum, and his family have been detained ever since. The deceased Christopher Walker has been speaking to his legal representatives. The lawyer for the condition which involves some level of learning disability. Now, many people with this condition can have fairly normal lives.
she needed a push chair. And then they said that she couldn't play in their yard anymore and they built a big fence. I felt just completely outraged about it and I never, ever went over there again. But I think that's the first time I realized that people thought of Judy as different and that it could be dangerous and hard to be different. When did it become clear that she wasn't speaking but you were? She talked a kind of baby talk. I always thought if, if we worked hard enough together that, that she would, at some point she would speak and I had this idea we would tell each other stories under the covers and I was kind of waiting for that day. But Judy didn't stop talking and no one knew why. The family tried to get her into a special school for kids with learning difficulties, but they wouldn't take her. They said she was impossible to educate. So while Joyce went to school, Judy stayed at home. For the night, they went to sleep together, curled in each other's arms. Until one night, when Joyce was seven years old. So we went to bed as usual, and then when I woke up in the morning, she wasn't cuddling with me, and I can remember reaching my hand out to bring her clothes, and she wasn't there, and reaching it further, and reaching it further, and she just wasn't there. the floor. 